Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Zaina and today's video we're gonna give this piece a makeover. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give this piece a light sanding using 180 grit sandpaper and my Dewalt sander. Using rubbing alcohol to remove the previous wax or the top coat that I already uh, did on this piece is the best solution. I just want to make sure that I want to prime this piece and I want to have a clean surface to do that. And I'm going to do the same process on the whole piece. After I was done uh, with, the, with the rubbing alcohol and cleaning the piece again, now it's time to prime it using oil-based primer by Zenzer. And this is the piece after priming it and give it a very light sand egg. Now I wanted to add some mold using redesign with Prima molds. So one called the Botanist Flora mold and the other one called Forest Treasure mold. Those are perfect for the transfer that I'm gonna use because it has the same flowers. And I started creating my molds using the amazing resin to create that and it's amazing. It, the name of it is amazing and it is amazing product because it can dry within 10 minutes of using it. After pouring my resin, I'm going to let it dry and as you can see, it can dry really fast. So it's better that you work with it fast. And today we're gonna use Cheers by Country Trick Paint. I love this color, it's very dark. It's not a red, it's kind of maroon color. Anyway, I'm gonna blend this color with uh, the Sunset Glow. Sunset Glow, it has kind of orange tint, coral color to it. And these two, if you've been watching my videos, you will know these two are my favorite colors. I always use them. <laughs> I don't know, it's just like, I don't know, every time I want to choose a color for a piece, I'll go with these two. I need to change. So, okay, I had to stop for a minute to get them all so I can cast again another, like, uh, flowers to use them. That's why I stopped in the middle of painting. I'm gonna keep painting and blending my colors. This is only the first coat. As you can see, it's not too thick. I'm just giving it a light, light coat so it can dry fast. I'm adding uh, to the Sunset Glow, which is kind of the coral color, I'm adding the Vanilla Frosting. Vanilla Frosting color by Country Chic Paint, it comes like um, a beige, light, light beige. It's not white, it's not beige, it's kind of in the middle of it. It has a warm tint to it and it's perfect for my colors. So I let the first coat dry, now it's time to give it the second coat. I'm just gonna go fast with this so I can show you guys how I ended up having the perfect finish for this piece. And as you can see, blending these two colors will give it a, like perfect shade in the middle. 
it looks like foggy a little bit anyway after i'm done with this piece we're gonna start adding texture by using my rubber uh, rubber roller um this one is very cool to use it to add the texture to your piece but i'm not gonna leave it here i'm gonna keep adding till i have my like the perfect finished for this piece And after I let it dry a little bit, now it's time to add an extra or another texture to the piece using my sea sponge. Sea sponge, I've used it before on a lot of pro projects and it always like, it never disappointed me. It always gives me the perfect, I keep using the perfect, the word perfect, because it's really cool. I love the texture that this uh, sponge giving me. So I'm gonna keep adding my colors using the same sponge i'm not gonna change it but i'm gonna use the other side of it when i'm gonna use it for the darker color which is cheers the red one or the maroon uh i'm just gonna flip it a little bit so it doesn't ruin my lighter colors So I'm just going to use my heat gun to dry this coat or this layer uh, to finish the piece faster. After the paint was dry, now it's time to add my mold using E6000 glue tip to do that. So now I'm going to add the transfer called Natural Flora by Prima, one of their new release. And then I'm going to add more molds to it. I just want to know the design, how it goes. Uh, every step of the way, it will tell me what I have to do next. I don't know about you guys. Let me know how you guys design your pieces down in the comments and see if you're like me. <laughs> After I let it dry, I just wanted to add some color to the mold. I didn't want to leave them white. And I'm gonna add a little bit of gold to it to match the transfer. So the piece has a little bit of details here and there. I wanted 
them to pop I added the gold I wasn't really I don't really like the gold this gold it didn't match the rest of the piece so I'm just gonna protect my piece using natural wax then we're gonna add gold leaf to the details Using the 3M Super 77 adhesive to do my gold leaf and I'm just gonna let it give it time to dry a little bit then I'm gonna add the gold leaf to it look at this and of course I'm gonna protect it with the Mona Lisa sealer it's better I love the uh, results that I get from this sealer because it will not change that gold it will keep it bright shiny and perfect And this is the results. It was a very fun project. I love the colors, of course, my favorite colors, and I love the gold on these colors. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please let me know if you have anything to say or if you like the piece or if you didn't like it, let me know, I'm okay with it. <laughs> and thanks again for watching.